Chance Outreach Ministry, New Life, New Start. Our pastor is Pastor Rashad McIntyre. His wife, our first lady, is Nicole McIntyre. I'd like to welcome everybody and let them know that God can do anything. Yeah. Whatever you need, he can do it. Yeah. When you walk in that door, I pray that we brought our expectations with you. I want to ask everybody, how desperate is you? How desperate is you in your need today? Hallelujah. Your praise is your keys. Your praise is your keys. Every hallelujah will break up every foundation of that witchcraft worker. Hallelujah. Stop it. Stop on that devil head. Hallelujah, Jesus. The devil ain't winning today. The devil is not winning today. Hallelujah. I like to let everybody know keep their mask above their nose at every time. Even when you come up to prayer, you still can be heard. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all. The devil ain't going to win today. Tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. Hallelujah, Jesus. Everybody standing all over the building. It's praise and worship time. Come on, y'all. Let's get up. Let's come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Just come like on. you said, it's praise and time. On. It's praise and worship time. It's praise of time. Hallelujah. Yeah, Listen, y'all, touch our neighbor and say, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I'm gonna live. I don't know about you. But I'm gonna live. Yes. Said, I'm gonna live for the future. Said you're gonna live for the future. How many believe that y'all are too quiet on me? Said you're gonna live for the future. I'm trusting and believing that I'm gonna talk to myself. I'm gonna talk to God by myself. Said you're gonna live for the future. I said, I don't need that in the house this evening. Oh, say, it don't matter what the doctor said. Uh -uh. It don't matter what that lawyer said. Uh -uh. Say, yeah, gonna, gonna for the future. Yeah. Amen. Say, live, 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 live. 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 Y'all gonna have to wake up on me this morning. Come on, y'all give God a hand clap of praise. So if you know he's been doing what we do, you ought to raise your hand. So if you know the Lord woke you up this morning, God hit you on your way. Said somebody been there. Somebody was dead. She 
even in their grave. But look at you and I. Look at you and I. Yeah. Oh, real early. Send your brother live for the future. Yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, live, 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 live. Listen, y'all, hey, hey. Sitting where we're gonna live for the future. We're gonna live for the future.
what your neighbor is saying. I don't know about you. But when I think about all that the Lord has done for me, I can't help her. Your name, your name is strange. 
Young lady back here, like to tell the goodness of Jesus. Give her a hand cup of praise, please. Hey, saints, how are y'all? Yes. Y'all see me sitting on this walker? I'm a miracle. Woo, come on now. Because they told me I had cancer. They told me. They cut me in my throat and they caused the stroke. And I was supposed to go out here. They tried to kill me, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Because 
Somehow God led me back to holiness to so here. So, you know, I was still, I was learning how to reboot my mind. So Wednesday came and I didn't understand a lot of stuff because I had left it alone. But I thank God for Wednesday because it opened my eyes to oh, a lot of things. It was like now. a deliverance for me. Pastor didn't have to put his hands on me. He didn't have to say a special word. I sat there and I listened to the word and it taught me a lot of stuff that I didn't realize. And I thank God for the, the words that Pastor and he actually listened to God, and I thank God for that because I know it was nothing but God. Because Come on now. I thank God because he, you know He's restoring my mind, yes. rebooting me to where I need to be. I can't be where I need to be if I'm thinking oh carnally. So I thank God for the new things that He's doing in my life. Hallelujah! Y'all heard she said the word. That's all it takes, but the word in a made up mind. That's how easy it is. Hallelujah! I thank God for Jesus. Ooh. I just rose to tell y'all. Hallelujah. I was supposed to have a total knee replacement on both knees. Ooh, come on, mother. You see, I got problems with my ankles. My feet are turning. But I want to tell somebody, as long as you keep your hand in God's hand, that's like you see come say, on stay on the path. Ooh. I want to tell you, when I went to the emergency room, a month ago, said something was wrong with my heart. I had a follow up with the heart doctor. They did an echogram. They told me everything looked good. But I know everything gonna look good. I know who he is. I know who he is. I know who I serve. As long as you real, you gotta be real. Who he is. When you tell him something, you gotta mean it. I'm still here by his grace, yeah. by his mercy. Testify, I wanna tell you, let's be real for the Lord. Whatever you tell him, mean it. Mean it. Stop going back 
back and forth. He'll work it out for you. Hallelujah. She said, let it be real. Let it be real. Whatever you do for the Lord, let it be real. Hallelujah. Give the sister a hand up praise, Reese. I know it's going to be all right. First lady. I just thank God for the change. When I was growing up, yeah, I grew up in the church. But I went to church with a like, special occasion, pastor anniversary. Oh, you talking you know, to somebody. Friends, friends <laughs> and family day. So I thought that was all important, but I realized you have to go to church every Sunday. Whatever you go, go. Oh, oh, oh. you choose to go. And I thank God for the change, because like, every Friday I used to get off of work. I go buy me a 12 pack of beer, some mad dogs, oh, some rags. Go to town, buy me a little mini skirt, little short shorts, back out shirts. Talking that, that was some, that's what I needed. But that ain't what I needed, that's what the world wanted to see. Yeah. The world cannot change me, they cannot say my soul. I just thank God for the change. Oh, you testify, come on. Hallelujah. Thank God for change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I encourage you, don't be no warm blooded Christian. Oh, Hallelujah. Give the brother a hand up a praise, please. My Lord. All glory be to God, yeah. to the pastor, the first lady. Today I'm gonna share a poem with y'all, and the title is called "A Need for Compassion." Mm. It says, "There's an infant baby crying because it has no food. There's a little kid with nothing to wear to school. There's a mother who's struggling to make ends meet. A teenager hooked on pills real bad." Who wrestling with defeat. A family member incarcerated because he made a bad choice. Do you turn your back on them and ignore their voice? Mm. There's an elderly person that just can't get around no more with nothing to eat and no way to go to the store. Jesus. The things that we recognize and pretend we don't see, but Jesus said what you've done to the least of them, you have done it to me. There's a man with no legs, but he want to walk. A lady with a mouth, but can't even talk. A young girl who was born blind from her mother's womb and a young boy who hoped his dad would one day come back soon. Life has so much to offer, but where do we store it? And godly love is something that comes straight from the heart. We all have passed one woman with a sign, said I work for food, but all glory be to God because anybody could be used. We got to, have, we got to love our neighbors as we love ourselves and with the love of God in our hearts, be willing to help. Jesus gave an illustration on how it should be. That's why he said what you've done to the least of them, you, you have done, done it to, to me. me. Come on now. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Let's see the wrong praise, please. Good God. I'm going to testify about how I used to be lukewarm. I'm going to testify about how one in and in and one in and out. And oh, I mean, one time, on one day I'm on fire, and then the next minute I ain't on fire. Oh, you, know, I mean, I used to, you know, I'm just going to testify about what God is with me. You know what I mean? I thank God for delivering me. You know what I mean? I thank God for bringing me out of the world. Yes. I thank God for giving me a mind to be obedient to his spirit. I thank God for giving me a mind to stay humble. I thank God for giving me the power, I mean, giving the mind to this just to be obedient to his will, you know what I mean? You know, I just came to testify about, I had cancer. I was paralyzed too. I couldn't walk, but God healed me, and God delivered me from cancer. You know what I mean? He almost spread to my heart, but God delivered me. I thank God for delivering me from homosexuality. I thank God for delivering me from the spirit of nicotine. I thank God for delivering me from game banging. I thank God for delivering me from the things of this world. Yes, he's still doing things to deliver me from, but I'm still, God is still able. You know what I mean? God is still able, so... God bless y'all. Hallelujah. God is able. He is able to do the impossible. Hallelujah. Let's give the sister a hand cup of praise, please. Ooh, that's good, Brenda Rundell. Giving honor to God, Pastor First Lady. I just want to talk about how God will supply for all your needs. Yes, he will. Some quick testimonies. Uh, I needed a calculator. I've been out of high school for two years, and I was taking a college class. And for some reason, I hadn't threw my book bag away. It had all my school supplies. And I was looking online. The exact calculator I needed was already in my book bag. Oh. Then I had a class I had to take, and it was 380 and all I had was $100. But the teacher said, that's all I needed. And I just want to thank God, because he will supply all your needs. He will supply. I said he will supply and he will be on time. Give an honor to God, Pastor and First Wife, and everybody in their respectable places. I wanted to talk about judgment. 
So I used to be a real judgmental person. So I used to think when somebody had on junky clothes or when they didn't have the proper shoes on or when they didn't have their hair cut or their hair did, I thought that was less than me. So God has really humbled me because yes. he told me something. Yes. But um, it doesn't matter. Somebody, I saw on TikTok, somebody came to church and they had tattoos and piercings. And a pastor was talking and he was like, you know, you're wrong. You this, you that. But you don't come to church looking for somebody to look at how you look and how you look. Yeah. How you see on the outside is more so about what's on the inside. So if your heart is clean and you look good on the outside, you're a nobody. But if you're looking good on the inside, that's all that matters to God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 God is looking at the heart, not the outer. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Giving on to God to pass the first lady. I just want to tell y'all. It might be dark today in your life, but it ain't going to be dark always. You should be doing everything and anything and diagnosed with cancer, this, that, and the other. Selling drugs, doing this and that. It might be dark right now, but it's not going to be dark always. So just give God praise and honor and let him do what he do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Trouble don't last always. I said trouble don't last always. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give honor to Christ and everybody in this place. Hallelujah. Stop letting the devil tell you what you cannot do. Hallelujah. This came to my mind to tell my testimony. I've been telling it to the people that ride in my car with me. But when I was in high school, I always thought that I couldn't swim. And um, everybody told, you can't swim, you can't swim, you know you can't swim, don't go in the deep water. But we was all in class, and we had those little kickboards, those little styrofoam board, and the girl, she went down in the deep end of the pool, and that little boy flipped off and underneath her, and she was screaming for help, and all the kids was just around the pool wall, just looking at her, and this girl was screaming for help. Mm. I swam out there, grabbed that girl, and pulled her back, and all the while, she was screaming, Louise, Louise. And I said, what? She said, you can't swim either. And hallelujah, by the time, hallelujah, I realized oh, you she was telling me you can't swim either. But I had already done that thing. I had already swam out there and grabbed that girl because I knew the consequences. Stop letting the devil tell you what you can't do. You should be focused on that need that's before you that you can't him talking to you. I couldn't hear her talking to me. She was screaming my name. But keep your focus on God. Hallelujah. And what you can do. Keep your focus on Jesus. Keep your focus on Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Give sister a hand, come on, praise, please. I was just, I was just uh, sitting back there thinking, I said, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to say. But I got so much I can say, and I done got used to it now, so you just might as well get used to looking at them, because I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. Oh, God, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. I was in the hair store the other day, and um, I was talking to the lady that owned the store. We were talking about guns and stuff. And two girls walked in there. And, um, one of them was shopping, and one of them was just waiting on her, you know. So I started talking to the one that was just waiting on them. And um, they was um, the one girl was looking at this perfume. And so this, some of this perfume got so many names to it, sexual names to it. I said, it might smell good, but Lord, but what kind of mind I had, I don't need to wear that kind of stuff like that. So I was going to... Um, so I, so I, I was going to look at my purse and buy, buy both of the girls something. You know how to do this in my heart. But as soon as I went in my purse and got the money to pay for it, I heard God say, no, give that money to her. And I was looking up and, and with the girl I was talking to. And, I, you know, in my mind, I used to say, no, I ain't going to give this much money. Uh, but no, but now I thank God for being obedient. I just gave that girl that money and they had nothing to say about it. She didn't want to take it at first, but I told her, you know, never turn out a blessing. And she took it. So then she went out the store. Then and she came back, you know, she said, can I tell you something? She said, she said, I'm, a, she said, I'm disabled. I got to get a disability check. Oh, but come I'm on now. Right now. Come she on said, now. I was hungry. I had nothing to eat. But now, thank God, I got some money. But I told me, I said, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to make me cry, Lord. I just thank God for being obedient. And God will feed his sheep. Amen. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Being obedient to the word. Hallelujah. Jesus will never let you down. Hallelujah. Every
everybody standing all over the building. Everybody standing all over the building. And let's get ready for the word. And when the word comes to you, come on, let's apply to it when we walk out them doors. All right? Hallelujah. Pastor Rashad. Let's give him a hand cup of praise. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Oh, come on, magnify him, glory to God. Come on, how many know he's great and greatly to be praised? Oh, glory to God, come on. Oh, glory to God, did anybody bring something to the party? Come on, did anybody bring a praise this morning, glory to God? Does anybody expect it, glory to God? Come on, if you're expecting something, you need to act like it, huh? Come on, if you need something, God, you need to act like it, glory to God. Hallelujah! He's able to do exceeding abundantly and above all. We can thank our ass. He is able to glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, I'm sitting back looking around. Hallelujah. Glory to God when God showed me that dream about one of the church folks coming to church and acting overwhelmed and down and come on like they don't know God. Hallelujah. They was coming to church and letting their issues. Uh, come on, let what they was going through. Come on, have them sit right in the house and feed it. Uh, come on, I can see that same demon this morning. Uh, come on, girl, it don't matter what you go through. Uh, come on, it don't matter what it look like or what it feel like. Uh, don't give the devil the glory. Uh, don't make your problem bigger than God. Uh, don't make your sickness bigger than God. Uh, you got to come to church with an expectation. Uh, no matter how it seems, you got to still believe God. Don't sit in church overwhelmed, not in the presence of the most high. So we tell you, you got to get in where you fit in, glory to God. That's the devil's job to frustrate you before you enter in. Oh, glory to God, but I thank God for him. Come on, glory to God, that's why we need the Holy Ghost. Huh? Come on, it's fire on my self. How many know God is real? Huh? Oh, glory, it's time to get excited. Huh? It's time to be excited huh? about the God you serve. Huh? Hallelujah. The Bible said we lively stones. Huh? Come on, the people that don't mind huh? making a job for noise. Huh? Glory to God. How many know we shouldn't mind making a job for noise? Man, he's good. Glory to God, if you're waiting on something to happen. Glory to God. Praise him for what's been already happened. Come on, now. Come on glory to God. And while you're waiting on that, praise him for what you're waiting for. Glory to God. Praise him if you're waiting on a miracle. If you're waiting on deliverance. Huh? If you're waiting on your healing. Huh? If you're waiting on restoration. Huh? If you're waiting on your family to be saved. You got to praise him like they already say. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah! Amen. How many know he wants us to praise him? Glory to God like it's already done. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Church, we got to keep that on your mind. Come on, that's what the Bible says. Whosoever you heal your members to, huh? Come on, that's the servant you're going to become, huh? Come on, glory to God. Who are you yielding to this morning, huh? Come on, are you yielding to faith, huh? Trusting and believing that it's already done, huh? I'm not going back home the same way I came, huh? Come on, glory to God. Brother Joel said, we're going to live huh? to see it happen, huh? We're going to live huh? till we get our breakthrough. Come on, glory to God. What are you living for? Hallelujah. Come on, live. Come on. God is not dead. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, glory to God. He's not dead. He's alive. I'm telling you, church, glory to God. They act like we know in whom we serve. Hallelujah. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Glory to God. You know, that just do something to my spirit. See, church folks, somebody they love God and got the Holy Ghost, but dead. Come on, ain't nothing dead about Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No. We're nothing dead about him. Hallelujah. No. Hey, the flesh is weak, but the Spirit of God is willing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell you, God is an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Come on, glory to God. If some of y'all, if you, I feel, if you can get your mind off your bills, man, come on, the devil's a liar. Huh? Come on, won't you seek the kingdom of God first? Huh? Worrying about a light people, worrying about your mortgage. Come on. He said he already know we have need of it before we even ask. Church, it's time to put a praise on it. Huh? It's time to trust God. Huh? I'm coming through it all. Lord, 
If he made a way last month, he can make a way this month. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I mean, it ain't the will of God for us to mope and grope about how much money we possess. Glory to God. Renew your mind and stop thinking and supposing that gain is godliness. So I know it got quiet there and said that. That's the problem with some of y'all. When money, when you money's funny, your, your spirit messed up. That's because you're supposing that gain is godliness. But the Bible tells me having God with contentment uh, is great gain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, we ain't going to base the Holy Ghost off of a new house. Uh, we ain't basing it on that glory. The devil's alive. Uh, come on, okay, how many new houses you get? That don't mean that's a blessing from God. Uh, okay, how many new cars you get? It don't mean that's a blessing from God. Y'all, come on. You got to know the spirit now. I mean, y'all folks got folks thinking. Got folks thinking that. Gain is godliness. Come on. I'd be crazy to sit up here because I got a, a new pair of socks on. Oh, that's God there. Come on. Come on now. I got some new pants on. That's God there. Uh-oh. Now God will bless. But come on, don't, don't suppose and just already have it set in your mind that every time you get something naturally. Come on, that, that, oh, I'm just really, I'm in, I'm really in the will of God. Uh -huh. You can have everything new and be outside the will. Huh? Come on, you can have a new house, huh? ain't got no peace. Huh? You can have a 22, huh? come on, glory to God, Bentley, Rose, whatever you want. Huh? A 22, but can't sleep at night. Huh? Come on, the devil's alive. Huh? Come on, we need to have Jesus. Huh? Come on, glory, come on. I want a new house, but I want to be able to sleep. Huh? I want to do Driving, come on, hallelujah. Some of y'all can barely get up out the bed, but you got a new car in the parking lot. What good is having a new car, but ain't got the new piece? That's a pass. All understanding, glory to God. It's time to get real peace. Glory to God. We had to bust that old bubble down now. But ain't got no peace. Some of y'all make y'all, y'all, hey. You're putting the wrong stuff out there now. I hear your speech now, the spirit now. Fifteen dollars an hour. I ain't got no. I'm y'all putting the wrong stuff out there. Now glory to God. Well, hey, yeah, we gonna have stuff and we desire stuff now. But no, come on. We talk about more natural stuff than we do for God. No. That just show where your heart is. The Bible said, "Where your treasure is, your heart will be there also." Glory to God. Woo. Amen. Because, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on some new stuff myself. And I'm not going to do nothing to, to try to make it happen either. If I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Come on, glory to God. He said all this stuff that the Gentiles, the world is going after. He said, I just added under you. See, Joe, come on, we in the lane with the Gentiles. Come on, we going crazy. We're going to work ourselves crazy. Some of y'all, you ain't sick. You're just too tired. You're working too much. That's why you got headaches. That's why you're dizzy. That's why you're weak in your muscles. You're working too much trying to get gain. Come on, glory to God. Humble yourself. What John the Baptist said, repent and be content with the wages you got. Glory to God. The devil, what the devil really fight my body? No, it ain't. That's them 200 hours you got in two weeks. Come on. Come on, you can't outsmart the Holy Ghost now. Oh, you're trying to put everything on the devil. Everything ain't the devil. My God, 200 hours, 100 hours in one week. Come on, glory to God. And can't even sleep at night paranoid and fear thinking you're sick. Now nah, you're working too much. Stop chasing money. Stop making it your power. Some of y'all, what some of y'all doing? You literally, come on, you are literally choosing Sundays and Tuesdays to work. Come on, you ain't fooling the Holy Ghost now. You are, but you willfully saying, I go in. That's on Sundays and Tuesdays. They got me. No, they ain't got you nothing. You chose to work. I go in. Because money your God. Amen. We ain't come to preach that, but come on. Glory to God. Settle down and wait on God. Having all this stuff and can't sleep. Come on, got a car, can't even get about the bed to drive it. Are you in the house, Pastor? Come on now. Glory to God. Can't even, can't cook the kids nothing to eat. 
Oh, but I'm, I'm running for the Lord. Yes. Come on, glory to God. No, you're working too much. And then it's showing up in your home, neglecting your children. Come on, come on. What, what, what six years old and all that got stuck there fixing their own dinner? Uh -oh. yeah, come on, man. Huh? Uh -oh. Look, got quiet in now. Uh -oh. Come on, Pastor. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you so tired, you got the seven-year-old baby sitting the three-year-old, huh? Come on. <laughs> Come on now. And you wonder why he aggravated or she aggravated. Come on, you putting her in a position she shouldn't be in right now. Because you chasing after a dollar. Come on now. And that's how the, you got to realize, sure, that's how the devil get in. Come on, you, you so drunk off making money. Glory to God, the devil that crept in your house. And then he have them sitting up there, see, them video games. I don't know who playing them old, them murderous video games. But come on, you shouldn't let your child play them old murderous video games. See, demons leap. Come on, the devil, he's wise. Come on, he's cunning. He's crafty. Come on, you can't sit him. What, what is that game? It's on the tip of my tongue. Bam! It's on the tip of my tongue. They, they shooting up everything. Yeah. Who? That's it. Grand Theft Auto. Man, they, what are they robbing, beating folks up? Taking poles and beating them down, blood gushing out. Come on, you wonder why little Jody want to grow up and he now he want to fight, he want weapons and all that stuff. Come on, you got to watch what you put in your house. Ain't nothing wrong with a video game, but come on, some of these video games cussing, stomping folks out, killing them, and they all excited about it. That's right, show me now. Glory to God. So, church, look, we got to watch, we got to, we got to surveillance our house too. So, we, we don't want to be so tired to where we can't do our parental duties. Come on, our children shouldn't be orphans when we're still alive. I'll say that again. Our children shouldn't be orphans when we are still alive. Me and my mama, come on, mama and daddy gone. Me and my sister orphans early. Jesus. 38 years old, some older orphan. That's because they passed away. But glory to God, when they was here, I wasn't an orphan yet. They was. So it should be the same way with us. All the Bible say, train them up in the way that they should go. If you don't want your kids to get mangled up, caught up out there, drunk in them streets, come on, train them up. Train them up. Give them the opportunity to understand what prayer really is for real. Not just something you talk about. Let them come in and hear. Glory to God and understand and teach them and show them the way. Because if we don't show them the way, the streets will. Show them will. Show Glory will. to God. And buying a whole lot of stuff, that ain't training them up. I can tell you that I grew up with all kinds of stuff. Didn't know what it was. I didn't never, I ain't never struggle. My mama grew up, didn't never struggle. But glory to God, I had stuff. But I didn't have that family love though. See, I didn't have, I didn't get them hugs from mama. I didn't get them hugs from that. I didn't get them sit down talks and all that. I didn't get that. Mm. Glory to God. So some of y'all blessed to have parents. You went to church with your parents. Yes. Glory to God. Some of us desired it but couldn't get it because it wasn't in the household. Yes. And that's why I grew up with that verbal abuse demon. See, when you're young, chill, you a child. You don't understand daddy cussing mama. Mm. Every three words is a cuss word. Oh, you you can't comprehend it at first. Oh, you talking to somebody. You know he's mad, but you can't comprehend. But when you start getting up early, somebody say something to you, and you just say the same thing daddy said to mama. Mm. Uh, Come but on. ain't no prayer in the house, so who going to drive it out me? Mm. Uh, uh. Ain't no Bible studies in the house, so who going to drive it out me? What no, come on, put your clothes on on Sunday. We going to church. It wasn't none of that. So come on, I grew up a grown man with a brother abuse demon. Oh, you talking no to somebody? Oh, you talking to somebody? At all. Come on now. Took everything I had by jiggle on, took that money from him, broke their heart. Come on, when, when, when they figured out all he wanted is the money, they boo-hoo cry, want me to stay there. I'm kidding about that. Mm. You didn't stop giving me your money so well, I got another one right across town. I ain't nothing. Mm. So now I'm leaving them and their children, children attaching themselves to me, getting close, didn't have no daddy figures, and I was so-called the only one. It was all a lie just to get your mama money. Ooh. See, the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, you talking to Come on, and I was evil and wicked. Come on, huh? glory to God, lie. Huh? Uh, break your heart and leave you there and laugh. Huh? And go get another one, no conviction. Huh? Come on, glory to God, I did that year in and year out. Telling you now. I said I never get married. That's why I said that. One woman didn't have enough money. But glory to God, when I begin to come on the Lord's side. Ooh, but God, come huh? on now. That's why I don't know what's wrong with folks. When you're on the Lord's side, no stuff creature. still ain't changing. Come on. No creature. We're supposed to change when we come on the Lord's side. Ooh. And look, you start changing before you even get the Holy Ghost now. Come on, oh yes. The word, the word start. Come on now. Come on now. Huh? Come on now. The word. You start changing. Soon as you
once you start hearing, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word. You start changing before you even endure with power. Oh, y'all been doing stuff for first lady that I ain't never done for no woman. Glory to God. Didn't pray about it. Change just start taking place. And what's going on? What's up with her? <laughs> Got me doing strange stuff. Stuff I ain't never done. Come on now. Come on. Glory to God. God will start working on your heart. Yes, he will. He'll start changing you. Come on, had that old anger demon. But look, it don't matter because I had it since I was little. That don't give me a green light to have it today. Amen. Well, I grew up that way. Daddy was like that. So I guess it's okay for me to continue to do her like, wait a minute, that was a lie. That's right. Come on now. They're supposed to stop with us. When you get saved, come on, all the more generational curses, all the more things that we inherit. Huh? Come on, it's supposed to stop with us when we get saved. Come on, thank God for my beautiful wife, pretty wife. Come on, thank God for somebody good. Come on, give your first lady a hand cup of bread. You know, I was, I was thinking on the way to church. I said, man, it's a blessing. Glory to God. You know, people, they believe in truth. Don't get me wrong. They ain't glory to God. People believe in holiness all around the world. Oh, but I thank God I got one that believe it the same way. Come on, I ain't talking about she believed to a certain extent. Uh-uh. I'm -uh. talking about we head on head, uh, back to back, join together, straight holiness. Uh, we believe it the same way. Uh, come on, ain't no, I think it's a little more over here. And I think it's a little, uh-uh. Come on, I thank God we got the same mind. Uh, come on, it's a blessing to have somebody that have the same mind. Tell you now, you somebody got the same mind. You be trying to cry out against sin. Come on, they fight you because you're doing too much. Come on, ain't time for that now. Amen. Glory to God. So I thank God. Come on, glory to God. Come on, thank God for Jesus this morning. You can have your seat. Come on, now let's get the Holy Ghost a hand clap of praise. Oh, glory to God. Come on, that's all we can do for the Holy Ghost. Come on now. The Holy Ghost will give us power. Come on, but the Holy Ghost kept my mind. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost gave me a sound mind. Hey, come on, power, love, in a sound mind. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the ministers, all the visitors, everybody in every single place. Come on, give everybody a hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Appreciate everybody this morning. Glory to God. Let's go to the Word of God. Amen. You know, God was showing me something over there, stand up, looking around, and I remember, you know, how I many know sometimes when situations go wrong with people in their body, their blood pressure high, sugar high, they just, sometimes they go out, and, and sometimes you don't know what's going on, they get rushed to a hospital, and they all unstable, everything is haywire, and then after a while, you'll check back, and they begin to say, look, that person ain't at the woods, but they are in what? Stable condition. Glory to God. And God was showing me some folks in here. What are you doing to where you're not in a stable condition in God? Mm. Some of us is out of, out of whack, out Come of order. Come on now. You preaching now. All types of chaos, all types of things is going on. Got Come you on unstable. Now. That's right. And when you come to church, come on. It's supposed to get you into a stable position. Come on now. Glory to God. So what's wrong? What are we doing today to where we're unstable? Ooh, to where God... Wrong does not have us in stable condition week in and week out. We're supposed to be in stable condition, church. When you start getting this word and hearing it and eating the word of God, it's supposed to be us stable. Think about it. We hearing the word and still unstable? Jesus. You got to be rejecting something. That's right. Mm. You can be in a hospital and reject what they have to offer. And how many know that'll be left up to you when you do that? So come on, you can come to church and reject what the doctor is offering. Ooh. It, which will keep you unstable. And that ought not to be. That's why the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let him think not he'll receive anything from the Lord. So church, God wants us to get us stable and remain that way. I know who I serve. Come on, we don't need to keep, every time you turn around, the nurses is rushing to you. Come on, remember before mama passed, we was in the, uh, uh, the what they call it, the ICU unit. And all kind of chaos, man, what's going on, my Lord? All kind of doctors coming from everywhere, running in the room. I didn't know they was running for mama, though. Mm. My Lord, they running in there. They said they got an issue. Come on, y'all need to hold on. Nobody going to be able to come in. ICU, we got a, we got a something. They said, some type of name they said, but they wouldn't let nobody in, so we had to miss that ICU visitation time right then and there. Glory to God. Hey, and then later, come back, came to the door. When, when he came in and looked at me, it, it, it was over there. Look, couldn't get her back stable. Mm. 
See, when things are left alone in you, Ooh. when you let sin reign in your mortal body, oh, come on, that's what the Bible says, don't let sin reign in your mortal body. Mm. Sin will kill you after a while. Yes, Glory to God, it'll kill you spiritually, and some sins will kill you naturally. Right. Glory to God. So that cancer that turned into stage four that was in her back went from the lungs and spread it all over. Lungs filled up with blood. It was game over. Come on, they could no longer bring her back to a stable condition. Mm. And I'm afraid today, glory to God, for some of you that's sitting in the house of God. Jesus! You're hearing the word every service. Ooh. You're waving to the word. You're shouting off the word. Glory to God. Oh, but for some strange reason, the word cannot get you to a stable place in God. Ooh. You have to get rid of whatever's got you unstable. Come on, pastor. Come on now, we need to do an examination. That's what the Bible says. Let every man examine himself to see whether he be in what? The faith. To really see that they are living for what they say they stand on. You preaching now. Come on now. So church, look, it's time to do an examination now. Glory to God. Mm. You want to find folks unstable. Come on. Glory to God. Get to a place seeing and take it further than you want to go. Amen. It'll keep it longer than you want to stay. The Bible say lust brings forth sin. And when sin is finished, it brings forth death. Church, you got to understand, for the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life. Yes. Glory to God. Yeah, think about it. Because some of us too unstable. Mm. Hearing the word, getting in God's glory, and still leaving unstable. Mm. Jesus. 1 Corinthians 11. Mm, mm, mm. I know he's able. Yeah. Amen. I love him myself. First Corinthians 11, verse 1. Everybody say amen. Amen if you got it. Amen. Be ye, what does it say? Followers. followers of me. This is Paul. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of what? In other words, Paul says, if you follow me, you're following who? Christ. Christ. It's a lot of God. It's a lot of people confused, mm. unstable. I'm here two months. Yes. I'm over here six months. I'm over there a year, and then they just steady running in circles, mm. confusion because they don't know what to follow. Mm. Come so on. we have to get to a place where we know what we're following and whom we're following. Ooh, that's because if you're really following Jesus. The Christ in us, the hope of glory. We shouldn't be double minded mm. about what we're going. Unstable. Come on now. You know when Jesus is in the midst somewhere now. Oh, come on, Pastor. Come on, you got hey. <laughs> you know when Jesus is in the midst. Amen. Man, when 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 we left church, well, God no, when we left church of Dover, I talked to Pastor Jackson. I said, look, it's time for me to go. God telling me to go out there. He didn't name. What church told me the person to go to? You know, I sat there, I talked to her, explained it to her real good. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, of course, of course, any the leader gonna try to, you know, hey, nah, I'm gonna just come on, just stay. But I had it was God telling me to go, That's so right. I just politely did it respectfully, and I went on to Apostle Page's church. And glory to God, he began to go over there, and a few things I learned with tent ministry, and he was an apostle. Everybody know about Apostle Page, miracle worker, all kind of types of stuff. Glory to God, and sat there and just. Gave me some revivals and did what God called me to do and led. And then he called another preacher to me a few months after that. But in the midst, how many know you can, people can preach the word. Mm. People can preach the word all day long. Mm. But if the word is being preached and you just still sitting there like that, huh? <laughs> the word, I'm talking about going hard to the paint preaching and you just still, okay, um, Come on, you know what's in the midst or not. Mm. And you can choose to succumb to that, die in the midst of that. That's right. Or get up and find somewhere where truth is going forth. That's right. Plus the anointing. Mm. And we had to make some choices. So, hey, God led me somewhere else. But I said that to say this. Look, sir, don't sit there. It's not personal. Don't sit somewhere and just straight die. Because mm. people are doing that. They, they worrying about personal relationships. It's not a personal thing when it comes to your soul being saved. And I told Pastor, I said, look, it's not personal. 
Not saying I won't be back, but I know what God is leading me to do now. Hey, and I explained it and I went on and I thank God that I had a mind not just to hang around just because I knew them and they raised me up. But I kept feeling I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to go crazy sitting there. So I went out. So if I would never would have left and obeyed God, it wouldn't be what we got going on today. I would have missed my purpose because just what somebody else thought. So everything is not about what everybody else thinks. I'm telling you. When it comes to your soul, don't sit there and die. You got to get like the lepers. Come on. You know you dying. Come on. You know you down and out. Come on. Your, your prayer life is fading. Glory to God. You know your dedication is fading. Come on. You got to do like the lepers. The lepers said, look, if we don't get up, Jesus over there, if we don't get up, we're going to sit here and die. So look, we're going to die now. We're going to die calling on the name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God they called on and he got, they got their deliverance. So church, look, don't sit you here and die. Come on, wake up. Glory, you got to realize your soul is at stake. Glory to God. Because church, I'm telling you now, if you're a Christian, you're going to need to have life in you. So lives now. I'm telling you now. If you're a Christian, you're going to have to have power on the inside of you. That's right. It's going to take something in this hour. And it's going to take more than just having a whole lot of flesh. It's going to take the spirit of God. Jesus. So Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Take your eyes off the vessel. And follow the spirit that's on the inside of them. There's too many church folks confused. Don't know what to follow. Ephesians 5. Jesus. Where that came from? God, no. Don't sit there and die. God didn't bring us out of the world for us to come to church and die. So did now. Come on, more miserable in church than I was in the world. Are you happy? Come on now. Some folks literally, I'm talking about for real, sitting in places more miserable in church than they was when they was in the world. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Shouldn't be. Some of y'all can relate to that. Be real with yourself. Shouldn't be. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. Because of the anointing, the Bible said the yoke is destroyed. Oh, come on now. Oh, have mercy. I remember daddy used to say he used to go to the church. And he said, Slim, I shouldn't even win. And he said, I felt worse. <laughs> I felt worse when I left than when I went in. Mm. Bro, you need, hey, you need to leave that. You need to, hey, that ain't, uh-uh. Huh? No, oh, you need your soul saved, man. We ain't got time. Come on, we don't know. The Bible says it's, it's appointed for man once to die. And we don't know. No man know the day, know the hour. Look, my soul need to be saved. Got time to be sitting around. Because so-and-so over there, mama over there, or granddaddy, man, don't care about no granddaddy. If I'm dying, I need my soul to be saved. That's right. Come on now. Ephesians 5. Way off. Everybody there. Be ye therefore, what it say? Followers of God. Paul talking about him first. Now he said followers of God. As what? Dear children. And walk in love. As Christ also have loved us. And have given himself for us an offering and a what sacrifice to God for a what sweet smelling Savior. I would hey, ain't no scripture in the Bible where it say sin stinking God nostril. I'm just gonna put that clear it up. Okay, how you Google it, how you search it? People that's that's man doctrine. They say a whole lot of yada yada yada, everything ain't scripture. I, I had to find out the hard way. You just pick it up, folks, you thinking they just saying something, so you go around quoting something that ain't even in the Bible. It's a lot of scriptures. People go, cleanliness is next to God. And show me the Bible where it says that. Amen. Oh, steady. Yeah, that's good. And have given themselves a sweet But fornication and all uncleanness mm-hmm. or covetedness, greed, let it not be once named among you as what? Becometh. Huh? Uh-huh. You ain't got no business thinking about it, playing around with it. Stuff coming to your mind, you got to rebuke it. Because you start meditating on it, it's coming out your mouth after a while. Something that's leading up to it. And they say it shouldn't be named one time among us as becoming saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting. When he talk about jesting right there, he talking about coarse jesting. Oh, profane, that old filthy, ungodly, nasty joke talking stuff. Some people think it's a sin, a joke. No. He talking about this coarse joking right here. This old filthy, abominable stuff. Joking about the wrong things. And y- 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 y'all know what I'm talking about. Ain't no sin to laugh. But some of this stuff, come on. 
Neither filthiness. That's filthy talking. You can't talk filthy. Foolish talking. Which are not convenient. Ain't benefiting nothing. But rather giving of thanks. For this ye know. That no whoremonger. And me and Fred Lady looked up whoremonger. Whoremonger was a man that lays up with prostitutes. And then I was reading it last night. A whoremonger be vice versa as well. That's having all these relationships and sexual encounters and you ain't married. Mm. So it all falls, to let you know, it all falls in the same category. That's fornication, just bringing up within it. Here. No unclean spirit, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater have any inheritance in what? The kingdom of Christ and of what? Hey, we caught up in this stuff. When we come back, we're not going to heaven. It's just bottom line. 1 Corinthians 9. Hmm. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff we just pick up and say and don't be realizing. But that's why the Bible says study, show yourself approved, search some stuff out. First Corinthians 9, verse 27. Everybody there? But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have what? Preach to others. I myself should be a what? Are disqualified. Is what that means. Mm. We're going to focus on disqualified. Acts 8. Look it up. means to be disqualified. Acts 8 verses 9. Everybody there? But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery, witchcraft. And he bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard, because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. Ruth, book of Ruth. After judges. Ruth 1, 1 through 6 verse. Now it came to pass, everybody there. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, Elimelech. And the name of his wife, Naomi. And the name of his two sons, Malon and Chilion, the Ephrathites of the Bethlehem Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elamech, Naomi's husband, died. And she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Ophar and the name of the other, Ruth. And they dwelt there about 10 years. And Malon and Chilion died also, both of them, woman had lost her husband first, now she lost both her sons. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughters-in-law, that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab how that the Lord had visited his people and giving them bread. Let's skip over to 11. And Naomi said, turn again, my daughters. Why will you go, why will you go with me? Are there not any more sons in my womb? that they may be your husbands. Turn again, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have an husband, if I should say, I have hope. If I should have an husband also tonight and should also bear sons, would ye tarry for them till they were grown? Would you wait? How long can you wait? Would ye stay for them for having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for agree with me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord is going out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again. They hear the first daughter-in-law. And Opar, she kissed her mother-in-law. She went on. But Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is going back unto her people and unto her gods. 
Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, I entreat you. I, and Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee. Come on, don't try to encourage me to leave you. Or to return from, what does it say? Following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. And thy God, my God. Where thou diest, will I die. And there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. Second Kings, last one. I mean, those circumstances that cause folks to separate from you. Second Kings chapter two. Everybody there? Second Kings chapter two, verse one. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind. That Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Terry here, stay right here. I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, what does it say? I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold ye your peace. In other words, he told him, stop talking about it. Yeah, I know it, but stop talking about it. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here. Wait here again. I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth. What does it say? I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said, Knowest that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee here. God has sent me to Jordan. That's three times. Come on. He told him to stay here. And he said, as the Lord liveth, and as I soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And 50 men of the sons of the prophet went and stood to view afar off. And they stood, and they, and they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither they stood up like same thing Moses did so that they too went over on dry ground and it came to pass when they were going over that Elijah said unto Elisha ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee and Elisha said I pray thee what it say let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me and he said thou hast asked a hard thing nevertheless if thou see me when I am taken up from thee it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and the horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven and Elisha saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah. He took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither. And Elijah went over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, the spirit of Elijah do with rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before them. Father, we thank you right now for the reading of the word. We ask you to hide the words in our hearts. Give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Open up our minds. Open up our hearts to receive your word with gladness. In Jesus' name, come on, clap your hands. Glory to God. I want to give you a definition first of the word follow. Bible definition of follow means to strive to conform our actions, our conduct, and our lives to our Savior, to go after or behind, to walk, ride, or move behind, but in the same direction. I want to give you the word of definition of imitate, to take or follow as a model, to be or appear like, to seek to follow the example of. 
the synonyms was copy. Copy means to imitate the style or behavior of. Mimic means to imitate someone or their actions or words. Now the last one, disqualify. They are officially stopped from taking part in a particular event, activity, or competition because they have done something wrong. Then it says thrown away, rejected the loss of everlasting life. Come on, tell somebody, follow the leader or be disqualified. Glory to God. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Now, church, glory to God. How many of everybody want to be a leader? I mean, ain't that wrong with it? Right. Come on now. To a certain degree. But everybody first must be a follower before they can become a leader. And when you begin to follow, it's going to give you experience on being humble. You'll be able to take instruction. Come on, glory to God. You'll be able to, glory to God, learn from the leader that when it's your time, that same wisdom that you followed and took part of, you will have that same wisdom. Glory to God. So it's real important, glory to God, to follow the leader. Glory to God. And, but see, when you got a spirit that knows it all, when you have a spirit that feels like, I don't need a leader. Glory to God, because there's a lot of folks, you wonder why they're so confused. And you're wondering why they're here. They're there. They're over yonder. Come on, because they don't want a leader. Come on, people want to be in church, uh, but don't want to follow the leader. Uh, why? Because, look, come on, they want to be in them shoes. Uh, come on, I know enough to lead myself. Uh, oh, but I'm going to let you know. Uh, yeah, you've grown. Uh, yeah, you can lead yourself. Uh, but can you lead yourself down the path of righteousness? Uh, come on, what you said Tuesday night, uh, how can they hear uh, without a priest? And how can he preach? In other words, how can he reveal what the people really need if he have not been sent by God? And it's a lot of people. Yeah, I'm in church. Glory to God. I'm here, but I'm not going to listen to nothing you say. I know God for myself. Come on, one of them favorite things is I got my own relationship with God. God talks to me as well as he talks to you. Well, I heard Miriam say that too. Come on, when Moses was the leader. Come on, Aaron and Miriam, they're supposed to follow him. Oh, but they said, look, we dedicated too. Huh? Come on, glory to God. We know what he know. Huh? And all of a sudden, leprosy struck upon him. Huh? See, come on, glory to God. You got to know your place. Huh? Come on, and some people think it's an insult. Huh? Come on, glory to God, to be a follower. Huh? Glory to God, they feel like it makes them smaller than what they are. Huh? But come on, I'd rather be a follower. Huh? I'm talking about following Jesus. Huh? they rather be in a place. Huh? Calling myself a leader. Huh? And make you too full child of the devil. Huh? Because when you're trying to take a lead position, and God ain't anointed you huh? when he ain't appointed you or assigned you huh? come on you'll make people worse off than what they already are huh? oh but I'm here to let you know today huh? you got to follow the leader huh? come on glory to God huh? and the Bible when Paul told them huh? look follow me as I follow Christ huh? church this is a spiritual thing huh? you can't look at me huh? come on and begin to judge huh? come on I don't think I should follow him huh? I'm looking at him come on I don't think I should do that huh? come on you gotta stop looking at the outward. Huh? Come on, we are the vessels that carry the burden of the Lord. Huh? Come on, we got them spirit on the inside. Huh? You got to be spiritual and not carnal. Huh? Glory to God, in order to follow somebody. Huh? Glory to God, why sit under a leader? Huh? And you ain't got a mind to follow them. Huh? Come on, glory to God. Huh? Church, it's time to set a house in order. Huh? It's time to do what's right in the eyes of God. Huh? A lot of people trying to get to their purpose. Huh? They're trying to get to your calling. Huh? But how you going to be a leader without the knowledge? Huh? How you going to be a leader without the wisdom? Huh? How you going to be a leader huh? without the structure? Huh? Come on, glory to God, without the discipline. Huh? Glory to God, it's a lot of people. Huh? Just because you know the scripture, huh? it don't mean you're ready to lead somebody. Huh? Just because you can prophesy, huh? don't mean you're ready to be over a people of God. Huh? Come on, it's time to know your place huh? and know it and stay there. Huh? Come on, but when you got that Jezebel demon, huh? when you got that old spirit of Absalom, huh? come on, you will sit right in the church. Huh? Feeling like you know more than the leader. Huh? And you're trying to find yourself building the church huh? right inside the church. Huh? How many know we've been there and we've done that? Huh? When we first came to Abbeville, huh? come on, glory to God. Didn't know at first huh? there was a witch in the camp. Huh? Glory to God, praying like it was all for me. Huh? Buy me this and buy me. 
me that. Uh, trying to get close. Uh, didn't know she had a wrong motive. Uh, until God began to reveal. Uh, come on, he may not reveal it today. Uh, he may not do it tomorrow. Uh, but one thing I know for sure, uh, he's going to reveal it every time. Uh, and you got to know your God. Uh, you got to know your position. Uh, you got to know what God called you to be. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I let people know all the time. Uh, just because you can preach uh, and make people come to the altar, uh, it don't mean you're ready to be a pastor. Uh, glory to God. Uh, a lot of people believe that uh, because of what I know. Uh, I'm ready to be a leader. Uh, but at the same time, I'm here to bust your bubble. Uh, some of you are not a leader today. Uh, come on, you will follow right now. Uh, yeah, who knows what God can mold you in. Uh, but I'm talking about in this season, as we say, uh, you got to learn how to be a follower. Uh, you got to learn to be able to take instruction. Uh, you got to learn how to take Correction and instruction. It's a lot of things Follow the leader. that we have to learn first before you step into your role. Oh, you preaching But now. see, when you have a zeal and it's not according to knowledge, come on, Pastor. You ain't waiting on nobody. I know it's been people, God said, look, you gonna preach, but not right now. Mm. Wait a minute. He wants to build you up first. Guess what they did? Left the church. Don't want to follow That's right. the leader. Don't want to follow. Oh, some of y'all didn't contemplate it. Mm. He ain't using me fast enough. You didn't contemplate it. The devil didn't told you. Come on, I can start my own thing. Mm. Glory to God, but hallelujah. <laughs> Then you say that's just a seven when you preach. Uh, a lot of people think they know more than leadership. And if God, if you knew what you knew, why God ain't gave you a church? Uh, come on, glory to God. Uh, because that spirit no, is just a demon that operates in them. Uh, glory to God. But ain't nothing wrong with following. Uh, come on, God, look at Elisha. Uh, glory to God. He looked at the man of God. Uh, called him his master. Uh, he was following his lead. Uh, come on, glory to God. God looking for a dedicated people. Uh, a people that don't mind following. Uh, because remember, when you follow me, uh, you're following Christ. Uh, it's in the world. Uh, you got to learn how to be a good follower. Huh? And Elijah said, look, huh? God has sent me to go to Jordan. Huh? Sent me to go to Jericho. Huh? I need you to stay right here. Huh? But Elijah said, oh, oh, the devil is alive. Huh? Wherever you go, huh? I'm going. Huh? Why did he follow his leader? Huh? Because he knew after a while huh? his leader was going to be taken away. Huh? And he wanted that anointed. Huh? He wanted to imitate his leader. Huh? He wanted to have what his leader had. Huh? His leader had power. Glory to God. He took that mantle and struck the waters. And the Bible said it stood up hither and thither. And it was able to walk on dry ground. Moses wasn't the only one. When you get dedicated to God, when you sin by God, how many know we'll do the same miracles that we see Paul them do? We'll see the same works that Moses did. It's in the world. We just got to learn how to follow. See, look at Elijah. He wasn't trying to get ahead. He wasn't trying to think he knew more than Elijah. He knew his place. He had discipline. He had structure to know who he was. I'm not a leader right now, but my time is coming. Church, tell your flesh. I'm not a leader right now, but my time is coming. You got to wait on God. You got to learn and get the wisdom of God. You got to take that correction and use it for your building. Correction. It's building blocks. Correction is building blocks, church. He said, look, I'm not leaving. I'm not going, I'm not staying. So he finally asked him, he said, hey, what you want from me before I be taken away? He said, master, I'm on a double portion. Double portion. Not just what you had. I won't let him then, son. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing wrong with asking God for a double portion. <laughs> I want what you got in then some. Huh? Come on, glory to God. Huh? I want a double portion. Huh? Come on, glory. He said, look, huh? if you want a double portion, huh? you're going to have to imitate. You're going to have to follow some instructions. Huh? Come on, glory. I got to make sure you stick around, in other words. Because huh? if you see me when I go up, huh? and then my mantle will fall. Huh? But if you don't follow me, huh? if you don't stick around me, huh? if you don't stick close to me, huh? if you don't see that mantle fall, huh? it ain't coming to pass. Huh? He gave him instructions huh? that Elijah had to follow her. 
But when you really want to double portion, uh, if God tell you what to do, uh, you're going to do just what he said. Uh, hallelujah. What the Bible say, uh, the Holy Ghost uh, is given to them that obey. Uh, if you really want the Holy Ghost, uh, you will follow the instruction of the word of God. Uh, I want a double portion. Uh, I'm not satisfied. Just throw a scripture. I want power. I want I want them to know that I'm big with God. I want people to know that I'm dedicated to God. Not through my words, but through my manifestation. What did Paul say? I didn't come with a Tyson words with men wisdom, but I came in power and demonstration of the Spirit. We got to come with demonstration. I want somebody to know I've been with God. Sometimes, you know, flesh, a kick. Huh? It'll just kick, it'll try to buck. So sure will. But while it's bucking, make sure you still falling right back down. 
Come on, into obedience. Uh, because flesh is our enemy. Uh, you got to be crazy to think your flesh ain't going to buck. Uh, glory to God. But it don't matter how it buck and it kick. Uh, come on, bro. You got to know your shepherd's voice. Uh, come on, you got to have a mentality. Uh, even if you don't agree with it. Uh, come on, glory to God. A real leader ain't going to tell you nothing that's going to hurt you. A real leader ain't going to lead you astray. Uh, a real leader ain't going to put you in harm's way. Uh, you just got to get that mentality and put your trust in the God that's in them. Uh, you got to put your trust in the God that's in them. Heard too many people. God prophesied to them right here in the church. Call them up. Prophesied to them. It ain't coming to me after service. And say, Pastor, I don't see it that way. Hey, look, I'm just a mailman. You ain't gotta see it that way. That you go out yonder, you gonna see for yourself. And they go out there a few months later. They come right back to me, brother. Pastor, you was right the first time. See, it wasn't Pastor. It was the God on the inside. And I tell people. What you think about it? Huh? Jesus Christ don't miss. Huh? He'll never miss. Huh? He'll never make a mistake. Huh? I'm not the son of man. Well, I gotta repent. Huh? Glory to God. He don't make no mistakes. Huh? You just gotta trust the God that's in that leader. It's ordained. It's in the word that way. That's right. It's structured that way in the word, church. But see, when you think you're a leader, uh, and you still See, when you still operating in rebellion, Don't follow, come on. disobedience, follow the leader. you ain't going to see it that way. Mm. See, you got to hump. That's what the Bible say. He resists the proud. Yes, he do. He stiffens the proud. Yes, he do. It's Try in the word. Me, Try to keep coming to God. But, uh, the stiff arm stops him from coming Ooh. to me. He resists the proud. But the humble, come here. Mm. The humble's coming. I'm going to elevate you. I'm going to take you high. Woo. Don't worry about what you're going through. Oh, I feel that. After the day, like I told Moses, after the day, you will see the enemy no more. Uh, come on. He tell you the same thing just because you was humble enough. Uh, come on. People, look, he received him. Uh, he felt his need. He knew his need. And he gave him the grace that they need. Told him, don't even worry about it. Come on, that enemy that was following him yesterday won't follow him after the day. Uh, man, I feel that in the house. Uh, do we got any believers? Uh, the enemy that's following you yesterday uh, won't follow me after the day. Uh, come on. I got victory in Christ. Uh, I'm going to trust the Lord. Uh, it didn't work for Moses. Now, it didn't work for us. Come on. Don't you believe that? And it worked for them, and it worked for us. The Bible says, knowledge puffs up. Oh, come on, uh, Pastor. It do. It's okay to learn a lot. But don't let your learning, don't let your scripture reading, because now you can quote the whole first John. You quote all three chapters. By heart. Come on uh, now. Don't let that knowledge now pump you up with pride to where now I'm in church, but I don't no longer need a leader. Uh, that's, man, that goes on everywhere. I don't care what church you. You got so many people, they learn a few scriptures. Uh, they do one word of encouragement, whether it's behind the pulpit or at testimony time. Some people's head get puffed up. Glory to God, and they no longer feel like, hey, I don't need no pastor now. I know people that was in this ministry. I told one brother seven years ago, look, you got the gift of healing. God's going to use you. But when you use you, don't get puffed up. Don't I tell all your people, stay humble. Stay low. No matter how God use you, always refer it back to God. Because look, now we're supposed to, the Bible said, we're supposed to give kudos to one another. That's right. The Bible said, let another man yeah. praise thee, right. but not with your own mouth. That's right. Uh, it's so in the word. that's a good thing. That's why we lift y'all up, tell y'all, hey, every time I do a good job, so and so day, we're supposed to do that one to another. But don't let knowledge puff you up to where you sit in this glory. But you really don't, mm. you, 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 don't, you no longer can become a doer now. Uh, no, no, no. Not what you say. See, I read something different, and it gave me another interpretation. That's another thing that's got people in a mess. Well, I didn't see it that way. I didn't interpret it that way. Look, come on, church. You can't, you can't sit in the house and become a rebel and think God's leading you. He said plainly, how can they hear without what? And how can he preach except he what? He be sent. Oh, come on now. He got to be sent now. So look, church. Come on now. It's about, we know 
We can preach. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all, yeah, you got great callers. I tell you all the time, you got great callers on your life. That's right. Come on now. But we, Paul is a perfect example Ooh. of who to follow. That's what I told you when I first came in. Man, there was something about Peter and Paul. Peter really had me, though. He was my favorite one, man. I'm talking about he was, he was like my superhero or something. And this man, good God, man, and preaching 3,000 men, he got saved at one time. This man raising the dead. I'm talking about my God, the works and the manifestation. Man, I, man get God, let me get some of that. I'm on that. And I begin to tell God, like I tell you all the time, tell God, look, if I can't operate the way these men in the Bible, ain't no sense to me talking about I'm a Christian. Think about it. Let's, 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 let's slow down right there. Think about it. If I'm a Christian, now I see after the Holy Ghost came upon me, right? I see what happened before Peter got saved. He denied God, cussed all that. I saw that. We see that. But after he got the Holy Ghost, uh -oh. the main one that was in fear was the first one to stand up on the day of Pentecost and say, look, these men are not drunk as you suppose. Uh, and begin to preach and tell them. And all those men got saved at one time, 3,000, added to the church. Such as should be saved. Now, look, if I'm a Christian, I got the same Holy Ghost. But come on, I'm preaching. Nobody gets saved. It ain't got to be no 3,000, but come on, I can't get one saved? Huh? Okay, nobody, no miracles, nothing is happening. Every time I read about these dudes, they was either preaching, raising the dead, somebody getting healed. Come on, Pastor. Huh? But then you got some folks who teach that it ain't all about miracles. No, it's not. But it's a major role. It's a major attribute that needs to be in every church. That's right. Come on, I know church folks, man, sitting in, they came up to us and served, go to different churches that just ain't being taught that. Man, they looking like, how in the world did that happen? Mm. Man, the anointing. The, what is the anointing? Man, that's the power of God. That's Christ Jesus himself, the anointed one. They blow, they sit there 30 and 40 years, sitting right in church, sick, and think it's the normal. That's what I try to tell you. I don't care who you are. Don't you never think it's normal for you to be sick? That is not the will of God. You just got to follow Jesus. When you know better, you can do better. When you know better, you should start to believe. When you know better... Uh, you can say do better, but this time when you know better, you should start to believe better now. Uh, mm. Some of y'all just accepting some of this stuff because of time. And that ain't the will of God. How if, if I'm a preacher, how I'm gonna preach? Come on, my body rocking with everything just about out there. How I'm gonna preach he's a healer. Mm. That's gonna put a defect in my ministry. Come on now. I'm all sickly. And the Bible said we be first. What you say, mother? First partaker. Demonstrator. Come huh? on now. I'm sick as a dog. Can't get healed. But I'm steady trying to preach to y'all. How? <laughs> Man, he preaching that. But every time we leave, I see him over there. He's taking his pill by the pop. I mean, Amen. that's going to confuse folks. Ain't it, <laughs> it going to confuse you? So look, that ain't the will of God for us. And we see people in here get healed left and right. And some can't get healed because they don't believe. That's right. Glory to God. Won't let their mind go there. Glory to God. So church, look, Paul said, look, I don't want to preach to y'all. Mm. I got to get my flesh under subjection now. I got to bring my body under subjection. He had to get power over his spirit, over him. That's why we got to get delivered from us, church. We can't let sin and all these things lodge in us. Come on now. Because look, it's easy to say, hey, this is just who I am. Mm. It's easy to say, well, my mama was this way. It's a generational curse. Come on, it's easy to claim all these different things, but you can claim all these things, preach, and still go to hell. Mm. So that's what Paul said. Look, I got to get my flesh under subjection, lest I preach to everybody else huh, and myself be a castaway. Huh? In other words, Paul said, look, huh, man, I got to get my flesh out of the way. Huh? I got to be crucified with Christ. Huh? I got to kill my flesh daily. Huh? I don't want to preach. Huh? I don't want to see people get healed. Huh? I don't want to see people get the Holy Ghost. Huh? I don't want to raise the dead huh? and get to the end. Huh? I'm all excited. I'm going into this pearly gate huh? and I get to the gate huh? and God holding up a sign. You have been disqualified. Huh? How in the world huh? did I raise the dead? Huh? How did I cast out devils huh? and I'm still disqualified? Huh? I'm not fit to get in. Why? Because I didn't get my flesh under subjection. Don't thank you in the will of God because it seems like you're flowing in spiritual things. Come on, and you know your lifestyle is upside down. Mm. Don't fool yourself. That's why Paul said, look, follow me as I follow Christ now. He let you know, look, he's flesh just like us. He's letting us know, my flesh got to die and yours do too. 
if you plan on going to heaven. Now, who wants to operate in the gift and still go to hell? Come on now. I don't think none of us. That's what Paul was warning us. Preach to a minute and still be disqualified. Come on now. What the, what, the, what the people of God said when Jesus said, look, hey, uh, Lord, didn't we prophesy? Didn't we not cast out devils in your name? Yeah, they did. He said, yeah, but you done it in iniquity. Mm. Depart from me. Huh? Yeah, you did all that in sin. Ooh, them private sins. Huh? Uh, you did all that in sin. Baby sin. That old stuff that you don't think nobody see. Ooh. You think because you don't smoke a cigarette around us, you getting away with it? Oh. You think because you ain't listening to your rap music with all that cussing and all that stuff on it? You think because we don't hear it, you all right? Mm. Come on now. Be quiet. See, Sister Loretta said when we was cleaned up the other day, it's the small foxes. Uh-oh. Sister Loretta got up and testified about a pen. A second chance pen. She got up and said, this is a second chance pen. But she <laughs> then took the pen home. And God convicted her. But see, some of y'all thinking she going too deep. Mm. No, a thief is a thief. Ooh. Huh? Right? A thief is a thief. Mm -hmm. And God got to have somebody that's bold enough to get up and say, hey, I was one. I took the pen. But I brought it back. Mm. But some of y'all, I don't think God ain't going to send you to hell. Hey, the Bible tells me no thief and robber is going to inherit the kingdom now. Mm. Huh? See how we try to justify stealing? Look, you took it. It don't belong to you. Come on now. Bring it back. You ain't got to give it to us as the rubber said, but just bring it back. That's what I mean, come on. But no, but see, when you proud, mm. when you feel like because of who you are, Ooh. I'm not going to hell over stealing the pen at the church. The Bible didn't say big things. It said the small foxes, huh? Come on, it's the one that spoiled the vine. The little things like that, that seem to be nothing. That's what the small ones are talking about. Those little things that we feel like we can just do, it's okay. Well, I'm going to let them, I'm going to give them the business. Ooh, I ain't going to cuss them. Yeah. Come on now. Man, I'm going to let them have it. Oh, you preaching, Attitude Pastor. Attitude messed up. Character messed up. Oh, you preaching. Oh, but did we justify because I didn't cuss? Oh, you preaching. Well, preach I didn't get loud with them. Oh, you preaching. Man, you can whisper and be nasty. Oh, you preaching. You can whisper and be out of character. Well, I, I ain't as bad as you because you, you, you ain't got to scream like that. You, you ain't got to talk to me like that. And you think you justified because you whisper? Uh-oh, you preaching now. Come well, on now. You, you see how flesh do. We're going to whisper something nasty, something smart, sarcastic, something provoking. Huh? Something that you knew was going to ruffle somebody else's feathers. Huh? You knew just what to say. Oh, you ain't the see, see, loved ones, that go for me first like anybody else. Don't think because you whispering something with a nasty attitude like God don't know your spirit. Oh, you're preaching, brother. And don't think you can get away with it just because your tone is at a one and their tone is at an eight. You're not better. Your attitude messed up. And his is messed up. But see, when you when you think, when, that's why the Bible says, don't Romans say, don't think more highly than you ought to think of yourself. Oh, it's in the word. Come on now. See, we gotta stop thinking more highly of ourselves now. Huh? We ain't beyond, hey, we're not beyond now report now, huh? That's right. <laughs> don't get it twisted now. <laughs> stop praying a few days. Start reading your word for a few hours. Mm. Watch how, just how quick your flesh will rise up. Mm. Play with it then. Daily. Play with it now. Play with your flesh. Okay, how long you been in? Got it. Miss your Daily. dedication time of prayer. Daily. Just miss two days of your dedication. Got to be this flesh. Daily. Stay being proudful and think you ain't got to read your word every day. Keep being proud and feel like you ain't got to dedicate every day. And watch how you go down. Sitting right in the glory of God. Look. Hey, did y'all, now everybody, Tuesday night had their own topics. Every last one of them was awesome. But did you hear about pride? Mm. Huh? Did you say that? No, that ain't me. Mm. What's that? No, that ain't me. Hey, since Jack gonna have folk thinking that, that I, 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 come on, I'm depressed all over again. Uh-uh. Pastor told me the same thing, but uh-uh, I, I don't see that. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And she, the more she started talking about, I don't see it, the more she dwindling. And the more I'm steady trying to, hey, you need to run after service, not just preaching. Whispering, calling, hey, come on, is, 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 is you getting your game right? Mm. Huh? No, oh, you in the house? We're not going to do that, right? Oh, you we're not going to do that. Come we're on, not going to do that. No, 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 no. I, I see what God got for you to do. Mm. Come on, we're not going to do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you, church. If you can't witness to nobody when they're going through, hush your mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I look like, I, I know what, what's happening, even though she don't see it. But what I want to got with no wisdom. Mm. Just saying, just saying anything to her. That's right. Because she don't seem to get it. No, you can't do that, church. You push somebody right out the door. Ooh. Make them worse off. Go to God. You are blind to where they already can't see it. So I'm, I, I'm, I can make it worse yeah. with no wisdom. That's right. Come on now. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The word is like a peer pressure. It ain't going to pressure you to smoke like the streets do. It ain't going to pressure you to do the wrong. It's going to peer pressure you to get right. Mm. It's a pressure that comes from the word. That's what we try to tell you. Like some of y'all, you don't understand. You keep saying, man, well, leave me alone. There. He keep telling me this. He keep telling me that. In reality, I promise you really don't want me to leave you alone. Oh. Uh, you, <laughs> you really don't want the leaders to leave you alone. Because I can say examples of certain things. That was gonna happen. What if I already said, no. Nah. Mm. Nah. So if that's your problem is that what if I was just, man, I don't want time to tell her nothing else. What about the cancer? I saw her, but I already uh, 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 she 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 don't want to hear nothing I say anyway. Mm. Mm. I ain't gonna waste my time playing over. Yeah. Huh? Mm. See, we really don't want that. That's right. <laughs> but you don't think you need a leader though. Come on, oh you're so spiritual, but you can't see half the stuff that's upon you. But you don't need a leader. Huh? Right? Some of this stuff will come upon you, and some of this stuff that we didn't God didn't prophesy to us. Some folks looking like, whoa, we'll say what? You say, you say what? Oh, I didn't know that. I guess you didn't. Mm. That's that's why you got to humble yourself and stop acting like you're something you're not. It's an order. Follow the leader. Come on, it's in the word. Come here, brother. Come here, brother Orlando. Come here, brother Randall. Mother, you want you? Let me see. Come here, bro. Yo. Yeah, y'all spread up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We finna play a game. God took me back in the days. How many remember? Follow the leader. Amen. Follow the leader was somebody had to play the role of a leader. And the people in line, they had to follow the leader. Let me see. Come here, brother Jerome. <laughs> Let me get brother Jerome in there. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Get one more. Amen. Follow the leader. It was a game that children play, right? And they loved it. You know when we play that game when young, didn't we love that? Huh? Oh, let me get quiet. Now. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing to wait out. Yo, we, we willing. We all willing to just follow the leader. So it's just something simple. Y'all gotta follow me. You gotta follow me. And those who can't follow. Off the top, you are disqualified. Mm. So that's how it was. So y'all ready? Follow leader means you had to imitate what I do. Faster, 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 faster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, ooh. Oh. they ain't falling off. They ain't falling off. <laughs> huh? Okay. So, okay. So they followed, right? Was that hard? It wasn't. You follow the leader, right? Every one of us did that. Mm. So it's a choice, right? Nobody got disqualified. Come on now. Huh? So, go on to your seat. They follow the leader. <laughs> Simple and easy. I didn't know some y'all can move like that. Hmm? Didn't know some y'all can move like that. Bro, wrong? Huh? I didn't know that. So when you really want to follow the leader, you can't. 
It's mighty issues when you really want to follow. You can't. Oh, come on. Glory to God. Now. All right. Sister Shania, you're looking at me just like you just want to be a part of this. Come on, Sister Shania. Let me see. Come on, um, Tamaya and um. Mm-hmm. Let me hear. For later, who you see out in there? Oh, Sister Tremaine, come on. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Sister Demetri, you're looking off. Come on. <laughs> if you just only kept looking. Well, y'all spread out a little bit. Yeah, y'all spread out a little bit. Sister Pam, somebody get baby. Yeah, Sister Pam, over yeah. here. Come on, Sister Sanders. Yeah. yeah. We're going to play another game. Come on, Sister Sanders. Yeah, 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 come on. Huh? Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> now, when we were children, we played another game about following something. It's called Simon Says. Huh? Y'all remember Simon Says? Yeah. So I ain't got to explain it. Okay. Simon Says. Raise your right hand. Put it down. Oh, Pam, you out. Pam, you out. Disqualified. Pam, you disqualified. Pam, you disqualified. Simon Says, scream. Simon says, count the five. Simon says, count the five. Count the two. Disqualified. <laughs> huh? And we wondering what people are preaching and doing this and doing that. They can't follow the instruction. Ooh, See, good. they listen, but they're not listening to God's <laughs> voice. And that's the problem, church. You got to listen to the voice of God. You just can't follow any kind of voice. My sheep know my boy. And a stranger they won't follow. Give one another high five. Simon says, turn around, look at Brother Tito. Simon says, turn back around. Shake Sister Felicia's hand. They ain't going nowhere. Oh, they don't caught on now. They didn't caught on. They don't caught on. Hey, <laughs> now, some folks ain't turning from obeying. Ooh, come on, Pastor. Now, Simon says it's a game. Y'all have just mastered the game. No, who had to be disqualified <laughs> because they didn't know Simon's voice. Some folks going to be disqualified because they don't know Jesus' voice. They're not going to be able to hear when he says, touch not, taste not. Come out from among them, repent, be born again. So now you got four of them that mastered it. So you telling me it's just that easy to listen to what Simon said. Now, why is it so hard to listen to what Jesus said? Simon said, put your hand out and walk back to see. Simon said, clap your hands. <laughs> So now, church, look how simple that was. If they mastered what Simon said, mm. didn't budge, four of y'all didn't even move. Huh? You telling me we can't master doing what Jesus said? Huh? Jesus said, repent. Huh? Jesus said, love your enemies. Huh? Jesus said, do good to all men, especially them that be in the house huh? of praise. Huh? Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Then and there, some of us is choosing to disobey God. And nine times out of ten, you choosing to disobey God because it's something you don't want to let go. It's something you don't want to stop doing. I don't feel like I should do that, but come on. If you are going into the kingdom of God, come on, glory to God. If you're going to make it, if you want the inheritance of the kingdom of God, we're going to have to do just what Jesus said. Now, there is a Simon that God don't want us to listen to. Simon says in the Bible that he bewitched them folks with sorceries. Now that's a Simon we shouldn't obey. 
That man bewitched folks, tricked folks, had them thinking that he was the great power of God. How many know? How many Simons do we know? Mm. Huh? That's bewitching folks, making folks really think that you got the power of God on the inside. How many Simons do you know that people think, look, that hey, I know they're walking with God. It's a lot of Simons now. Making folks believe that they got something they really don't possess. Oh, you preaching now. Bewitching folks. Mm. Making people think you got the real Holy Ghost when you don't. Oh, we got quiet. So now look, it's about our obedience, following the instruction. Oprah said, look, and mama said, look, hey, I'm too old. But if I did, perhaps I did have sons. Are you willing to wait till they grow up? What did Oprah did? When kissed the mother law. Mother, I love you. But I ain't sticking around. I'm not going to follow you in that. No, she left. But Bible say Ruth cleaved unto her. She said, wherever you go, I go. And she said, matter of fact, look, please stop encouraging me or trying to promote me to go back. I'm not leaving you. Mm. Church, she was following after her mother-in-law. She said, where you go, I what? Where you die, I'm going. Where you live, I'm gone. Look, she was determined. It don't matter. I don't care what comes up. Yeah, I lost my husband. I'm still following you. Man, Naomi set a pattern that, look, come on, Ruth did not want to leave. Uh-uh, she wasn't going to leave. What she had seen was being manifested. She didn't want to leave that, so she claimed unto her. Now, we shouldn't have the same. Now, that's a woman, right? She didn't want to leave. Now, what about the word of God? Huh? We should want to cleave to the word. Come on, I'm not leaving the gospel. I'm not leaving the truth. I'm not leaving none of this stuff for nothing that's back in the world. We should have that mentality. Look, no. Look, God is my God. That's just all to it. He's my God. Yeah. I'm not listening to nobody else. But when you want to do your own thing, you listen to that old parking lot prophet. Uh, that old nursery. Preacher back there that's talking against what God said. You'll be easy to listen to them things. But church, that's why I said, if you really want to be saved, if you really want to follow the leader, which is Jesus Christ, follow leadership the way God got it set up. That's right. Come on, You'll be blessed. You will be blessed. Look at Elijah. He was blessed. He got what he desired because he followed. He imitated everything. And that's all it is. That word follow told you, it means to imitate, to mimic the behavior in the same action. That's right. And when we read the word and God preaches the word and it tells us about what Jesus did. Hey, that's why he said, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, mm. he shall do also in greater works. Mm. Look, church, we got to imitate. We got to want this for real, though. Ooh, come on you now. You got to have that old teachable spirit. Quit trying to teach when you know you need to be taught. Come on now. Because you will skip the process. You don't want to miss that following process. We all now care who you with. Everybody need it. Everybody need it. I remember Pastor Anderson saying when Pastor Goodman was her pastor, but she said she had a vision. She said she saw herself step into Sister Goodman. She was like, what in the world is going on here? God was setting her up to become a leader. Mm. I think she was like 28 years old when she became a pastor, something like that. 28 years old. So look, church, hey, God going to show you. Didn't, didn't y'all hear Lord tell for a lady? Then he said, you, you finna step into some what? New shoes? Y'all remember that? Mm. See, it's a different, but she got to continue to follow them. That's right. You can't have that. No, nah, I just want to be the song leader and I preach when I feel the preach. No, it don't work that way. Mm. See, when you following God, double portions going to start following on you. Huh? Double portions. Man, you'll find yourself doing something that you ain't never signed up for. Ooh, my Lord, you think because you master singing it. I can use her master singing it and... and, and she can play the drums and doing the praise. Oh, that's hey, that, that's good to a certain extent. Mm. But just being the praise team leader and singing ain't enough for her to get into the kingdom. Ooh. You got to follow on. Follow. There's higher heights and deeper depths. See, that's what we try to tell some of y'all. Yeah, you're doing things now. Like some of y'all right now, that's ushers. You don't believe down the line that God can raise you up to be evangelists traveling all over the world. You won't even let your mind go there because you don't even care. Oh. Look. Some of your belly want to preach in here now. Jesus. You got to follow on. And that word will teach you. You got to grow in grace. Don't come to church. I'm just an usher. And you stay there with that same mentality. No, it's greater than that. That's right. Hallelujah. 
And don't let nobody put that mess on you. Well, I don't, I don't want to be that. I hear people say all the time, leaders all the time, well, if, if you just wanted to do it, when, 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 if it ain't real. Huh? What you mean it ain't real? Paul, I, I, I didn't hear where Paul kicked against his calling. Come on now. I didn't hear Paul say, I didn't want to do this. Mm. When he got converted, he got converted and he went on. Wanted to do uh, it. Come I had on. a mindset, I wanted to be who God called me to be. I wanted to do what the devil had me doing. And I loved it. Come on. It was just killing me. <laughs> Making me miserable. Glory to God. But I love what I was doing. Until it all got miserable. But then when I come to the Lord, so he said he see this and he see that. Now, in the beginning, no, you probably can't see yourself doing that. I did now. Pastor Anderson, I see so and all this stuff. Like, oh, yeah. I, 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 I'm my background. I don't know about all that. See, I was still calling. I couldn't see that. But the more I stayed in following the leader, following that word, being obedient, taking heed to the instruction, before I knew it, the very thing I couldn't see myself doing. Uh-oh. I didn't have the practice to do it either. Uh-oh. I didn't. When that time comes and you follow the leader, man, it's like, I don't know, like it becomes you. It like it just becomes you. You know, you, you, I mean, for real now, it just becomes you. And you put up there, like I was say, when God anoints you to do something, it's there to do. It'll be there. So come on, stand to your feet, church. Look at somebody real good. Say, follow the leader. Follow the leader. Or be disqualified. Or be disqualified. And I ain't trying to get to the end. Come on, glory to God. It can't get into the kingdom of God. I don't want my labor to be in vain. Oh, glory to God. Boy, I, 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 I see a great miracle today. Yeah. I ain't come on no healing like that. If you see what I see right now, sister... Kathy, man, I see something. Glory to God. Come on. Good God. Come on. Hallelujah, Chief. Uh, oh, come on, first lady. Sister, no, sister Serena, go to the camera. Look what I see. This, this, this is what I see. Glory to God. Get, get, get one in. Come on. Yeah, come on. Get one in. Get in here. This is, you just follow me. Hold on tight now. I'm pulling you. My God. Yeah, you, you being pulled out today. Pull out, come on, pull out. Come on, let's make some U-turns. Glory to God, let's make some detours. Glory to God, let's make some detours. Come on, glory, come on, we, come, we coming out of this. Glory to God, you're too anointed. Glory to God, too anointed. Glory to God, hallelujah. I remember years back, you preached a message. Uh, it's time to get this good. I remember at Sunday night service, you preached a message. It's time to put your game face on. Uh, you remember it was years ago. You talked about, you talk about football. When they say put your game face on, it means it's time to get ready for the game. It's time to prepare. Uh, God telling you today, put your game face back on. Uh, come on, glory to God. You ain't looked over. The devil's a liar. Come on, you a fire. Glory to God. You got something that the world needs to hear. Uh, and the devil wants you to die. But God sees you today. And he's pulling you out, huh? This word is like a match truck, huh? He's hooking it up a tow truck, huh? He's hooking himself up to you. That word is pulling you out the mile. That word pulling you out the clay. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I find every force that's worn against her mind, worn against who she is in God. Just want her to accept it. But the devil's a liar. The Bible says they that know they God, they shall be strong. You know who your God is. It's time to be strong. We're not accepting this. I bind it up in the name of Jesus. Game place on. Put your game place on. You get the new beginning. You get the new life and a new start. Do you all over again? Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's power. Hey, power. Wonder working power. I destroy the anointing. Destroy every yoke. So I'm trying to have you hear it. Just like Joseph in a ditch, and they thought they had it. But come on, God made a way. The devil thought he had you today. I'm telling you now. You in a ditch. Glory to God. But God pulling you out. The devil's alive. Favor ain't fair. I don't care who don't believe in you. Come on, me and First Lady. We believe in the God that's on the inside of you. Come on, you an evangelist all over the world. You ain't supposed to be sitting here succumbing to what the devil has for you. When we bind that spirit up in the name of Jesus, we speak life all over you from the crown of your head. From the soul of your feet. Life. Hey, say it. Live, 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 live. Come on. Glory to God. So you're going to live. So live, live, live. You're gonna live to see it happen. You're gonna live, 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 live. Hallelujah. Live, 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 live. Live spiritually. Live, 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 live. Live. Wow. Okay. Manchu kora. Rito kobo ha. Rito kobo hansi. Rito kobo handu. Be made whole. 
body, soul, and spirit are refreshing from the presence of the Lord. Take these gold clothes off. Come on. Come on. Clap your hands from God. Come on. Clap your hands. Come on. Here on the shoulder. Take, take these gray clothes off. Huh? Come on, since you're here on the shoulder, take them off. Take them off. Huh? Come on, church, take them off. Huh? Come on, take them off. Huh? Loose her and let her go. Loose her and let her go. Loose her. Right there. Be loosed. Be loosed. Come on, be loosed. Loose. Be loosed. Loose. In the name of Jesus. Be loosed. Loose. I command the scales to come off your eyes. That you will see even more in the spirit. You will see clearly. No more blurred vision in the spirit. No more foggy days in the spirit. Glory to God. God wants you to know who you are. Know who you are in God. You ain't been red shirted. You ain't no red shirt. Hallelujah. Stop our prayer. Know who you are. Some folks that get on team. They get on football teams and they red shirt. They can play when they get red shirted. That means they got to sit out for that whole season. You ain't been red shirted in the spirit. But there was a lot. That was the devil wants you to be on the sideline. You're too anointed. Glory to God to be anonymous. Huh? It's time to come out of being anonymous. Huh? It's time to wake up and know who you are. Paul told Timothy, stop that gift of God. Huh? Stop that preacher man on the inside. Move out the way whatever needs to be moved. Let go of whatever needs to be let go of. And stand up your place in God. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. Feel it. Come on. The train's going to triple over some things. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Sister Tremaine. Let me pray for you. We get a chance. Come on, glory to God. Come on, I feel it. Come on, praise Him. Come on, praise Him. Come on, if you got some feet, stand to Him. Glory to God. How many know He's able? I said, How many know that He's able? I said, How many know that He's able? I said, He's able. I said, He's able. He's able. He's able. I said, He's able. Y'all run. Y'all run if you're going to worship. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, she to testify for victory. Testify, oh God, like an overcomer. Testify the way that we should testify to the glory of God. So she living, come on, she got no, no activity on one side, but she still ain't gonna complain. She could, but she won't. She said she won't complain. Father, you've been good to her. You've been good to us. But God, I desire to see a miracle. I desire to see an operation take place. That the anointing will heal. In the name of Jesus. Heal. lava. God, you're able. You're a miracle worker. Lord, you're able to give her the use and activities of her nails. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come on, praise them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 He's a miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. He's a miracle worker. Come on, the Bible said rejoice with them that rejoice. Come on, we got any believers in the camp. Yeah. Do anybody believe God that he is able? That he is able. That he is able. Yes, life. Prophesy life to a arm. Since the cold there, hairs went numb. But life came back in it. You the same yesterday. God, we speak life into our arm. Life into our leg. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, by the power of God, let it be so. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I got another yes, Lord. Got another yes, Lord. I got another yes, Lord. I got another yes, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. I got another yes, Lord. Another he's, yes. Able. He's, able. He's, able. he's able. He's able. I said he's able. He's able. He can do it all. Ain't nothing too hard for God. He got all power. Come on, he got all power. I said he got all power. Glory to God. He got all power. Hey, Kurema Shuko. 
Hansi Kohaya, Uko Tobohoya, Rismi Koresma, Ekataba Hio, Rismi Kureba Tiki Baba Hansi, Yelava Shimu Kuresko, Resta Waya Bahaye, Yelako Tobohosa, Yelakataba Baha, Yikores, Keto Koresmi, Neto Kobishi, Mandi Kuriki. In Sakatu, Riyama Rosheke, Riyama Du, Riyama Ku, Iskura Yaba, Lesme Kasiko, Lesma Handi, Hukara, Haiko, Resme, Ritukuba Hai, Resme Tekaba Hanse, Rekobo, Shimatsu, Ritukuba, Rema, Yeloko, Hoya. You coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out. Church has been a rest haven for you. God's word has been a pavilion for you. You came in just in time into holiness. If you wouldn't have came in the day that God drawed you, you would have lost your mind a week later. Somebody remember that? He told Sister Shira when she came with depression. He said six months later you would have committed suicide. A week later when, from when you first come in, if he didn't draw you and you took heed, you would have lost your mind a week later. Your mind, you got stuff on your mind now, but because God's a safe haven, you will never lose the mind. You got to be one that follows instruction. He talking to every one of us, but it's a few in here today because of the anointing and the calling upon your life. Have to take heed, regard every word that comes forth out of the mouth of God. It's just that important, like Sister Loretta say, one word can either destroy you or make you. But the word of God is going to lead you. It's going to order your steps. Don't think twice about obeying whatever you hear God tell you to do. Whether it be from the preaching or be one on one. Take heed. God going to raise you up. He's going to put you in a position with a microphone. I know you love to sing, but there's a preacher calling out on the inside of you. There's a John the Baptist down on the inside of you. That spirit of Elijah is going to rest upon you. You're getting a double portion early. He's going to raise you up. You're a last day evangelist. You're going to cry loud and stand out. You're going to heal the sick and raise the dead. High blood pressure won't be able to stand up in your presence. I'm talking about because of what God will put on the inside of you. Even in your family, they they have blood pressure, diabetes. It's going to come a day you're going to lay hands. That door is going to open. You ain't going to make it open. You're going to be around some of the family. And you're going to hear them talk about blood pressure and diabetes. And you're going to have the unction from God to lay hands on them. And them diabetes going to dry up from the root. Blood pressure going to line up with the word. But it's critical now. You're in the critical time. you got to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Your lifeline is through the word. Your lifeline, your healing. Oh, your deliverance is through the word. you got to trust the word trust the word trust the word it won't bear you it won't cause you to be ashamed the word of god it won't cause you not to be ashamed your hope will not make you ashamed trust in it lean not to your own understanding and everything you do acknowledge god it's real vital to you that you acknowledge god in everything you do You're going to get, even though now, but it's going to be with a different mindset and a different spirit. You don't like to tolerate foolishness now. But he's going to give it to you in a different way spiritually. You ain't going to tolerate it, but you're going to know how to put up with it and keep a right spirit. It's going to be for a purpose. Opposition is going to come against you because it's going to try to frustrate the purpose of God that's upon you. 
You have to really understand the reason why you really don't like mess. You was like this before you even come in on the Lord's side. But the reason is that you really don't like mess is not because of the flesh. It's not because of the natural. It's because of the calling that's upon your life. Even though you may not have never heard it before, it's because of the call that's upon your life. You won't have to have a lot of people say, you know, they love gossip. They love that tea. But it's the reason that God wants your ears and your mind to stay upon him. There's a mandate going over you today. It's in process. You got to yield. You got to do whatever it takes. I'm telling you, glory to God, you've been in this way a long time, but you've been bored of some things. Glory to God, it wasn't your fault, but you've been bored, but he's going to do a quick work. So you got to prepare. you got to get in that way. It's going to be so fast. It's going to overwhelm you, but you're going to have to be in a position. For God, I live and for God, I die. You're going to have to trust the plot. Come on, you're going to become against her. People ain't going to like the gospel that's going to come out your mouth. But if God be for you, who can be against you? God's going to bless you in season and out of season. You're going to be a lender and not a borrower. You're going to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath her. He's going to take you from faith to faith and glory to glory. You just trust in the Lord. Come on, church, glory to God.
worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You are worthy. Yeah, come on. I'm give you some oil today. I'm gonna pray over it specifically. When you go home, when you get situated, we take everybody. When you get home, um, no, 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 kind of no joking. Not, not saying either way. No laughing for a minute when you get home. When you go home, be dead serious. You gotta drive. Step at your house. There, there's spirits and forces that's hovering inside and outside. And when you go home today. Get situated. You go in with aggression and drive these spirits out the house as attaching themselves to your kids. I'm gonna tell you, it's a war zone, but it ain't, it's, 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 it's part of it, but majority not from you, but part of it is from you. So you gotta drive out that which don't belong. It's a war, I'm telling you, a real live war zone, and these babies ain't no match for what's dwelling in there. You know the word, you know how to pray. They can too. But no. Okay. Glory to God. And after you anoint that house, he sanctified. Please don't let nothing in that house contrary to what you and your kids trying to do in the house of God. Okay. Tell you that. Yeah, glory to God. Because what's affected the most, you think the little one is affected the most, but it's. Okay, yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now. She smile, it wants to be real. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're we not, she too young. How old are you? 17. Glory to God. Hey, that little act out you got in you? You know that little, that little tough man you got in you? Uh, you can't do that. Uh-uh, you can't do that. Oh, man, you can't do it with her either. Uh-uh. It, it's, it's a reason. You don't want to go to jail, do you? But do you know your mouth can? They call it disorderly conduct. I don't know. I see a situation. Where you carrying on? It ain't gonna. It ain't gonna be no drug. It's because what's lodging upon her mind, that attitude that won't really come out and really. It ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. That's why we trying to break and obey God. Glory to God. And see, the devil know what hurt. You know you don't play much kids. Glory to God. But hey, we obey God. We follow His instruction. Everything will be well. Glory to God. Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, praise Him, church. Come on, praise. Come on, praise. Come on, call your hope up. Come on, praise them out there. Come on. Come on. Praise them. This straight for the family. Come on. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus. Open the door. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit trying to connect itself. I rebuke of her in the name of Jesus. Be made whole. I rebuke trauma. I rebuke things she didn't solve. Come on, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. God, that nothing to have a role play in her heart. Nothing, oh God, to tinkle in her mind. God, we curse this thing from the root in the name of Jesus. Glory to God, they're going to be women of God. Jerome will be a man of God. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Every demonic force hovering over that camp. Huh? We drive out the mist in the name of Jesus. I bind the person and old person. I bind schizophrenia. Satan, you lying devil. I cast from the root in the name of Jesus. Personalities uh, talking to voices. I rebuke every voice. Uh, that demon that trying to sit upon Shekiah. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. I command Satan to go by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Oh, come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, hallelujah. Oh, oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. My oh, Lord. As soon as I put my hands on you, I can feel you. Hey. Trauma, mental type issues and all that, we're not going there. We're not going to let the devil make you, try to make you think something wrong with your mind. No, you're in the war zone, I'm trying to tell you now. And this ain't been no two-year thing here. This, this is a, yeah, come on, come on, over 10 easy. Glory to God, she didn't suffer in the mind. She didn't suffer in the mind for some years now. Glory to God, but the devil is a liar. 
You are not going to be handicapped. You ain't going to be no disabled in your mind. God showed you when you went to the hospital that he was for you. Glory to God. If you can keep this in your spirit, that my mind ain't going to lose me. My mind ain't going to get away from me. I'm going to stand on what I know. And it's a reason you was trying to stand. Look, she was trying when you left. She was trying to stand with all she had, but she ain't got what she need yet. That's why it's so vital. But don't beat yourself because I think don't go out of here. Blame yourself or beating yourself up. It's a good thing you came back in the nick of time. So don't go out thinking twice and trying to sum it up and all like that. Just realize if y'all obey God, it's going to work this time. But you got to stay in. It's too vital to them kids. I'm telling you now, glory to God. This is a lie and wonder in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What are, oh, let me see that. Oh, I wish somebody would praise the Lord. Oh, I wish somebody would praise the Lord. Come on, glory to God. I wish somebody would praise him like it's already done. I wish somebody would leap like it's already done. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every voice. I got to think. Every voice. I got to think. God, let it be so. Know the voice of God. You're too in deep with it to be unstable if you're not sure when God talking to you. Know His voice. Realize God ain't gonna tell you to do nothing crazy. That's what the Bible says. Try the Spirit, by the Spirit, to see whether it be of God. The devil come talk crazy and all the other stuff. God ain't going to tell you nothing that's off his word. That's out of character or something that's going to harm you. That's how you'll be able to tell the difference. you got to know his voice. you got to know his voice. It's critical. you got to know the voice of God. The gift of God that's on the inside of you. If you don't know the voice of God, you'll be double-minded with a gift. But God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that she'll stand up. She'll know your voice today. She'll try these spirits to know, to see whether they be of God and not succumb to anything contrary to the word of God. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, let it be so. In Jesus' name. One spirit. I'm telling you, one spirit just left you. I said, God, I'm true. I don't know what. One spirit just left you. But you got a whole a company of hosts that still warn against you. Fight with the word of God. He showed you know, one spirit. You may know. You may figure it out. I don't know. But I tell you, he just told me one spirit just left. I don't know the reason why he done it, but I'm just telling you one left. But you got another host that you got to fight against with the word of God. How many know God is able? Come on, say, how many know God is able? God is able. How many know he's able? Yes, Lord. You don't come to it. Lord, I don't know what this is going to be. Whatever the case may be. Whatever. Don't you give in to the hurt. I'm telling you. Glory to God. Because I see the, I don't know, suicide or some type of oppression. Something want to lodge itself in you. But it's not so. Glory to God. It's not so. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're not cut out. I'm going to tell you. Look. She ain't cut out for the highways. 
You ain't, you ain't cut out for the, for, the, for the street. I don't know. I just really see all that old, that type of like, that bullying, depression, oppressed, suicide. I don't know. I ain't feeling right all that. I feel all that just hovering on top of her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She got a lot of stuff in her too that she don't say nothing about. Just thoughts that come to her mind. Father, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. I rebuke Satan off her life by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power. Oh, oh God, blood of Jesus, make a hole. Come on, Come on, Glory to God. Be free in your spirit. Free the joy of Jesus. The peace of God that's there when don't nobody else know. Let it be so in the name of Jesus. God, let it. Glory to God. I rebuke it, Lord. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of God, yeah. all residue in Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord, you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Is any other teenagers or young folks in here that the devil? He say stuff to your mind. Glory to God. Anybody else beside her? Feeling weird. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God will deliver you now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you fight. You fight with the word. You fight back with the word. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You another one. You got to get saved early. It's a blessing. You got that mind to come. You keep asking God. He's going to give you the Holy Ghost. He told me that. You make sure you're doing everything you're supposed to do on your end. Nothing, oh God, that would get in your way. The devil is a liar. Glory to God. He's trying to, he want to depress and make all these youth suicidal. Glory to God, want to make them feel early like they ain't worthy of nothing. But how many of the devil's a liar? I'm on these children are worthy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And everything you done been through, God going to turn it for your favor. It's going to all work in your favor. Glory to God. Hallelujah. By 21, glory to God. You stick with God. Even when you graduate, you got to stick with him. I'm telling you, you, you know, you, you, got, you already got something to do as soon as you get out of high school. Look, you stick with God. Don't go astray. You got to stick with him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God, let it be so. My Lord, let it be so. Glory to God. The Bible says wisdom will preserve thee. Wisdom will give you long life. Ask God for wisdom. The Bible says if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Ask for wisdom every time you pray. God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom as a youth. Give me wisdom on what I need to do and what not to do. Ask God for wisdom every time you pray. He said if any man asks for wisdom, they lack it, I will give it to him and won't hold it back. Glory to God. Where is it going to lead you and guide you? You need to read this proverb. I'm going to get you that scripture. It's in Proverbs. It's the principal thing, which is the most important thing. But it said it will preserve you. It will lead thee. It will guide you. It will give you own life. Wisdom. It will bind it upon your fingers. It says tied around your neck. You need to take wisdom. Everywhere you go, it's going to preserve you. Glory to God. You got a great move of God to do. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God.
get you one in the hands of the earth. Y'all help me sing. How great, how great is our 
my God. Sing. Uh -huh. And now, I will see you. Uh -huh.